Hello everyone, this is Bruce from Jingle Mining. Welcome back to our channel. So last week we uploaded a video about Just Miner X4 Q unboxing and uh, how to set up. And we have received a lot of views and attention from customers. Thank you all for your support. And in this week, I'm going to fulfill the promise that I made in the last week, which is going to, to tear down this Just Miner X4 Q and see how is it internally uh, going to look to you guys. Let's get started. Before we get started, I'm going to give you a brief about this mount. So this is going to be shipped separately uh, in your package. And if you would like to put them into the server cabinet and you can screw them up. And if you do not want to them, so you can keep them stand upright. Okay, just, uh, just to let you know. So I'm going to unscrew them. A lot of screws here. Top panel off. And at here, you can see nothing right here. And uh, so basically the hashboard is protected by this aluminum or metal anyway they are protected by the blades and uh, they are connected with the wire to the control board right here um, the green one is going to be the control board and uh, the black and yellow wire is the power supply from this this brick is going to be a power power supply and uh, these cables are for the fan what else oh yeah right here the small panel is for the indicator light this this green panel is going to be the for the indicator light nothing else so now i'm going to keep unscrewing there are two screws right here so plug them out PSU out so I think this is a magnet ring for some kind of radiation protection and uh, there is a fan for the cooling and uh, these are going to be five of them of the PCIe 6 pin 12 volt uh, and uh, four of them we're going to be going to the hash board and each hash board will consume two wire and the separate one is going to be uh, connect with the control board that's it and for the spec so this PSU is going to be 12 volt DC 550 amp max uh, for the power output and the power input right here uh, it supported 120 to 277 volts and uh, frequency supported for 47 to 63 hertz um, and 8 amp max that's all and uh, here's the SN code for uh, the PSU and uh, some of the customer they uh, they give us a feedback about the PSU sometimes going to fail uh, during the warranty so they worry about if the uh, machine has exceed the warranty what should they do so luckily we are going to have the official extend service the warranty will be provided for $99 you can have six months extra and especially it's for the motherboard if you would like to have your PSU and control board to protect it in the warranty so you are going to charge for additionally $150 so that will make about $249 uh, for everything. All of you are just minor X41U. Please be noted X41U or X4C1U. And if you want to have your just minor X4Q to extend the warranty, so that will make it double because the hash board is double and uh, the PSU is double uh, even though it's only one PSU. So that will make uh, $300 to give your whole machine to extend six months warranty. 
everything included, the PSU, the fans, the control board, and your motherboard. So now I would like to unscrew this hashboard. It's going to need a very, very long screw. I have modified this. So these are the four pins for the fan. And this is between the control board and the hash board. And these three is between the control board to the indicator light, as well as uh, the reset button. So in the center is a chip for the control board, I think. And here, these two black thing is is a memory or, or what? I don't know. Um, and here the Ethernet port. And uh, here, yeah, here is an LED for the control board. Uh, when the control board is powered up, this should show a green light at here. Mm, and you can see that actually at the top, there are three ports for this cable but there is only, uh, only two used. So pop possibly it's for the redundance. And uh, if any of the port is failed, the after sale may suggest you to switch a port from here to here. Maybe it's a bad connection or what. Uh, so here is a redundancy. And uh, here is a fan. And here is a power, power in for the control board. That's it. So inside of this uh, case, there is nothing else at the bottom if you already put the uh, hashboard out. So I'm going to unscrew the fan because this is the key uh, of this machine. It can keep it very quiet. Okay. So these two are the fan for the JustMind X4Q and you can see the provider is come from the deep cool and the spec is 12 DC in and 0.12 amp uh, and the RPM is not showing it's a it's anyway it's a 12 centimeter fan and I think it's about two or three two centimeter thick that's it looks pretty decent and very high quality nothing else except the cable for the indicator that's it that's all so here is the motherboard and still many screws to mount it actually there is nothing special inside it should be just the motherboard of the just my x 41u but i'm still curious you So this is a case. So basically this is not only, after I take this off, I have realized this, this is not only just a protection case. This is also for the air terminal. You see the fan is going to sit at here and uh, this fins stays at here. So this case will sort the air is only going through here. No, no, no others, no other ways. So, so this will increase the efficiency of the fans, of the airflow. I think this really helps to reduce the requirement of the fan RPM. So, case out. So what about the motherboard? Ooh. And here are two of them. So each of them will require the power of two uh, PCIe six pin cable and a wire for data transfer between the control board and the hash board. 
like this. And would you like to continue? But I think I do not have a thermal paste. And there are too many screws right here. Oh my God. How many? 16, four by four. Do you want me to continue? Ah, so many screws. It's pretty tight. So basically this is just a big brick of the aluminum to, to absorb the heat from this board. And it's very, very, very beautiful. So they are lined as three by three. And in the middle, it, it should be some kind of the main control or anything, control unit or whatever. So uh, you can see so many micro wire is going through or underneath and uh, uh, these nine these eight chips surround this main control and uh, they are the famous just minor x4 chips and you can see the just minor logo right here and Sunlun, the brand name very very good looking so now i have cleaned this board and as well as the heat sink or the radiator so you shall see that it's pretty pretty shiny and clean looks good right so as well as this the radiator they are all both are custom designed and produced looks pretty good so the things the number of things is not as too many so the, the performance is pretty nice. So uh, compare, so combine with these fans, the chip temperature can remain about 50 to 60 Celsius, while the room temperature is at 25 to 30. So pretty decent. And uh, now I'm going to put the thermal paste on and put everything back. So I have done with the thermal paste so you don't have to apply them very, very appropriate. You just uh, leave them there and uh, apply some pressure. So the rest leaves to physics. So when you screw a motherboard, you need to, you need to apply the force gradually from the corner to corner then little by little. Okay, they are all good. So now I'm going to put back with the case or the air terminal. Now I have plug everything as well as the power. This is going to be a very moment. Okay, I made this. And uh, here, like I said, the control board will have a green light right here. That's it. Thank you everyone for your time. And uh, I have done with the tear down and uh, screw everything, but I didn't screw up. Okay, thank you everyone. And uh, this is Bruce from Jingle Mining. If you like our video, like just mine as for Q, you shall feel free to check our website jinglemining.com to check the X4 Q. And as well as there is a, a warranty extend service available now. You can have two hundred fifty dollars for everything included for another six months warranty. So that's it. This is Bruce from Jingle Mining. 
See you in the next video. Bye.